Hey, what's up guys, Sean here, and we're super excited. I'm with my friend David, and we're about to test out the brand new software 7.0 for his Tesla Model S. Let's go. Let's do, do it. it. I picked up this Model S off of the CPO program, and it has all of the software that's necessary for the autopilot features. So anything that was built before October of 2014 didn't have the hardware necessary. So it didn't have the motors that it needed to turn the steering wheel. It didn't have the sensors that would allow it to do the traffic aware cruise control. But I've been waiting since May when I got the car for this update to come out. And it came out last night and I'm just super, super excited to start trying it out. And what, what the software update allows the car to do is basically drive itself as long as you are driving somewhere where there are uh, lanes that are marked and the sensors and the camera can, can see those. Okay, so I'm gonna engage the, the autopilot now. So right now the car is it is steering itself, uh, it is handling the acceleration on its own. Uh, if you look at that monitor, you can see those blue lines uh, indicating that you know, the car is aware of where the lane is, and it'll steer us inside those lines. You can also see a car that just appeared in front of us. That's that uh, small van that just pulled in front of us. So you see it there. And you know the car right now, I think that it's set at 61 miles per hour. We're going 55 because that van is in front of us. I've got it set right now so that it is trying to keep seven car lengths between Wow, that was interesting, okay. Uh, between me and the car in front of me. So just getting used to this. It's very, very strange. So as that truck was driving by, the car wasn't moving away from it like I would, <laughs> you know, a human driver. You know, it sees it there, it knows it's there, but it doesn't feel any compulsion to like move away from it. Okay, we're gonna do a lane change now. So I'm just gonna turn on the turn indicator. It knows I wanna make a lane change. It sees the space available, and it moves me into the next lane. Pretty cool, we're gonna do that again. So I've got the turn indicator on. It'll look for an opportunity to move. There you go, lane change. It's pretty cool, huh? That's exciting. And it's a really weird feeling. You can see, I don't know what to do with my hands sometimes. Oh, by the way, you're not supposed to do this. You're supposed to have your hands on the wheel. In fact, if you have your hands off the wheel for any length of time, it will uh, remind you to put your hand back on the wheel. So you can see where this would be really cool on a long trip, like when we drive to Las Vegas, those long, long stretches of highway, you know, you, you can really kind of take it easy and not have much to do. So a couple things that I noticed when I took this out this morning, and I was driving it around Dana Point, um, and I was driving it in town, and uh, a lot of stoplights, the lanes aren't marked uh, super consistently. Uh, there are a lot of bends in the road. And I noticed that it was, you know, there were times where it would tell me that the autopilot feature was not available when I tried to put it in. And I think that's probably because it didn't see the lines the way it needed to or something. But then the other thing that I noticed is when you go into a curve, the car doesn't slow down. So I, I remember I was uh, set at like 45 miles per hour. I went into a curve and the car was turning, but it wasn't slowing down. Um, and that was really, really uncomfortable. But again, it's not made to do that. I mean, I don't think that that's the point of this autopilot, to be able to ride, drive around curvy roads in a congested area. So traffic is slowing down. We're slowing down too, but I'm not doing it. I mean, it, you know, it just sees the car in front of me. It sees that it's slowing down. I've told it I want it to leave six car lengths, which, uh, you know, it'll do. As you, go, as you start going slower and slower, it will take up that slack, but, um, you know, if you're going at any speed, it's gonna keep six car lengths be between me and the car in front of me. So courtesy of Elon Musk, these superchargers are available to Tesla owners. And uh, see the little door open, you just plug, plug it in and there it goes. So what do you think? How did it go? Impressed. It's kind of weird, kind of scary, but kind of exciting. So I'll you know keep driving around, get used to it. See yeah. What it's like. Yeah. Well, changing the game, Elon Musk, Tesla, 
autopilot, super yeah. cool. And uh, hey, thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe on YouTube. Let us know what you think and if you've tried it out. If you have any questions in the comments below. And uh, keep crushing it. We'll talk soon. Later. Okay, so Sean is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Look, mom, no hands. Yeah. What was that? It's an oh. old steering wheel. So it's telling me to hold the steering wheel. Right. So it doesn't recognize stop signs. So it doesn't stop at a stop sign. It doesn't stop at a red light. So you still have to you know, be a human. Mm.